Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use subscriptions with WPLMS. So for the automatic subscriptions feature, you will need to use a plugin called as WooCommerce Subscriptions. Now this is a plugin by WooCommerce, which is available on the WooCommerce store. And the integration plugin, which is WPLMS WooCommerce Subscriptions integration, which you can find on on down on WPLMS, the WPLMS for Commerce Subscriptions plugin. So once you have these two plugins installed, so here I'm logged in as an instructor and I go to the manage courses section and here I can see the data mining course. And I'm editing this course now and when I go to the accessibility, here we can see that I have all the prices set as $18. Now what we're going to do for this tutorial, we're going to change the price. We're going to set the price as $10 and enable the subscription. And I'm going to set the subscription as one day because the minimum, minimum subscription duration that WooCommerce subscriptions plugin supports is one day. And I'm going to use this for testing and show you how the subscriptions work. And here I'm going to create the product. So here we have set the price as $10 per day and I'm going to update this course. Now while on the administrator side, if we go to the WooCommerce products, all products and edit the data mining product, which is the corresponding product of the course. Here you can see our associated courses data mining and the subscription duration is set as one day. And this is currently a simple product. So we're going to change this to simple subscription and the price will be $10 every day. Now here, very important point to note is that we are actually matching the WPLMS's course product settings. That is subscription duration one day with the subscription price, with the subscription of the WooCommerce that is $10 every day. I'm going to update this. So now here we are looking at this particular course and the subscription is of $10 per day. And I take this particular course for this subscription. And this is a recurring, as you can see in the cart. So this is a recurring $10 per day. And the next renewal is on December 14. And since I'm using the Stripe payment gateway, which is supported by WooCommerce subscriptions as well. And I'm going to sign up for this particular subscription. So here you can see the order is now complete and my related subscription is now active. That is 362. And the next payment is in next 24 hours. That is of dollar 10 per day. And now if you go to and if I go to my enrolled courses section here, I can see that I have this particular course as data mining. And I can start this particular course. And in the order section, So here we can see we have this data mining. Data mining course, which was purchased by the administrator and the subscription is active. And while on the instructor side, so here our instructor and uh, in the commissions, we see that we have this particular commission of seven dollars because the student Ryan Lake purchased the product uh, purchased the course data mining. Now to test these subscriptions, I'm going to increase the date and time. I'm going to change the date and time on my computer. So I'm going to set the date and time. Now, since this is a local setup, which means the server is on this particular computer, I'm changing the server time here by one day. So now here we can see that our subscription is 
active and it has been it has automatically renewed and if we go to the our order section here you can see that the order was re the another order was attempted here and a new order is created and here you can see when we and we still have the access to this particular course and the uh, duration is one day right so i'm going to increase the time further And here you can see the time is also decreasing our access time to this particular course is decreasing and now we again do a reset so we again increase the date by another day and now when we reload this and when we reload you can see that the time is updated and in the orders and in the orders we can see that we have another order another renewal order which was created and for each of the renewal orders we can see a commission is calculated so we can also verify this in the commissions graph so instructor is getting commission for every renewal that is happening in the commission section and 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 the instructor can also verify the uh, access of the students so here the uh, the student Ryan Lake has access to 23 hours and 58 minutes and when the subscription of the student is paused or suspended because of non payment the access of the student to this particular course will be removed so here we, we can see we have the access but now when we drag and refresh this so here you can see the access is now revoked and the course is now displayed as expired so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching